In SolidWorks Visualize Professional, a built-in physics simulator allows you to achieve organic and realistic movements of components, considering realistic physics, contacts, gravity, and natural placements. So whether you want to animate components falling, or quickly create static images of a natural pile of them, then SolidWorks Visualize is the tool for you. Alongside being a powerful photorealistic rendering software, it lets you drop components to naturally collide and sit on a surface after falling. Physical properties can be set to ensure collisions are treated as such, so we don't get any overlapping or interfering geometry. For this example, we'll get the components of the forklift to fall and scatter around a stationary forklift assembly. Before we start, we need to select the components that we want to control. We'll select the one that we want to be stationary first, although the order of selection isn't too important. The static option under simulation type is used for a stationary component, whereas dynamic is for any moving components. So static will be used to define the original assembly. The next option to control is collider geometry. And simply put, this defines how or what areas of the parts will interact with each other. Mesh accurately uses the component's faces and existing geometry, which will therefore take a little bit longer to calculate, whereas bounding box will take a rough silhouette of the component. This is less accurate to the form, but gives results much quicker than the other options. Just so that the preview displays smoothly, we're going to set this to bounding box, and then select the other assembly and set the type to dynamic, so that it can move and collide with a static assembly. And we'll also set the collider geometry to bounding box. We aren't going to change the physical properties in this scenario, but be aware that these are always set as default. So you might want to tweak these slightly to get a higher bounce with the elasticity, or to slow down rolling components with more friction. They're not an exact science, so do have a play about with them to get the right feel for your animation. Let's take a look at the Simulation Manager. The red dot is the Record Physics button, and will save any movement to your timeline for animations. The play button is there to simply play the movement so that you can see if that's what you're after. Pause only appears while it's playing, and stop is self-explanatory, but this button here will reset physics and pop components to their starting positions. Let's take a look at what we've got. Here we have selected the components at the wrong level, and the assembly has dropped as one rigid item, rather than in individual parts. So we need to reset or stop the physics and make sure we set physics options at the correct selection or assembly level. Let's set the physics back to none for the dropping assembly. Now the easiest way to assign the correct physics type to the correct parts is to use the model tree. Just expand levels in the tree until you can see the correct components to control. The model tree is useful for this as you can compare selections in the tree to the highlight in the viewport, or to the thumbnails if they're clear enough. Obviously, if we'd identified the correct selection level before we started, it would have been a little bit easier. But we'll test our setup by pressing play. And once it's played, you can use the shake button if necessary. This gives you the ability to add a small earthquake to tweak the natural placements a little bit more. Just click and hold it until you're happy. The plus button will save simulation states, which are static images, so then you can send them to render. You can capture these at any point during the animation. If you wish, you can change the collision geometry to mesh, which will be more precise. But either way, when you're happy, press the record button to add the keys to the timeline. Just remember to click stop at the end of the simulation. Before we finish off, a nice idea can be to record gravity pulling your model apart, and then once it's rendered out, take it into a video editing software of your choice, and reverse it so that it looks like your model is building itself. And that's the physics simulation in Visualize Pro. With this tool, 
Static renders of components falling or in their natural positions can be taken easily once you've captured the simulation state, and animations can also be captured by pressing the record button. Then you can move the keyframes around, add camera views, lights, etc. to create a fantastic dynamic animation and render. But note that the physics simulation has to be recorded first, before any additional animation features are created. With SOLIDWORKS Visualize, you're able to embrace your creativity to produce natural and lifelike renders. Check out our other tutorials and training courses to enhance your rendering skills. And don't forget to let us know in the comments what you want to see next. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more SOLIDWORKS tips, tricks and solutions.